it was great in the beginning. You see, in a small town like the one I grew up in, a car of your own was your only wet dream. It meant freedom, a promise of escape from hanging out behind the local quick check, where our nightly thrill was ducking behind the dumpster when Deputy What's-His-Name would shine the spot looking for random delinquents. So in the spirit of getting the hell out of Dodge, I'd saved every penny I earned collecting shopping carts and pushing a mop on aisle three. And I bought that old jalopy park down in Wilson's front lawn. Sure, it was a piece of shit, but now it was my piece of shit, and that's all that mattered. I couldn't wait to pile the gang into the back seat and take it for a cruise. So the first chance we got, we tore down those back roads and byways, hooting and a-hollering and carrying on without a care in the world. Why not? The road stretched out ahead of us and behind us. Well, no one gave two shits about what was behind us. None of us saw the damn deer on the road. Not sure there's much we could have done about it, even if we had. The sound of that old rust bucket plowed into the poor deer was like nothing I had ever heard before, and I never want to hear again. Luckily, no one but the deer was hurt. Sure, we were shook up, and Jimmy was puking his guts out in the drainage ditch, but for the rest of us, our biggest concern was how the hell we were going to get home. I guess that's why when old deputies, what's his name's familiar, spot suddenly washed over us, the last thought on our mind was ducking. In that moment, I imagine we felt like castaways being rescued at sea. I still have the license plate from that old car. You know, to remind me how great it was in the beginning.